It's your number one countdown rock. I'm Sammy, and right now I am joined by some Canadian rockers who've been making some major noise in the U.S. of A. Theory of a Dead Man in the house. What's going on, dudes? Uh, what's going on? We're here. We're talking here. You're hanging out, right? Yeah. Tyler, yeah. Dean, David, or Tricky T, you said, right? Tricky T. Uh, you know, that's my uh, rap moniker, Tricky T. I was a DJ for many years. <laughs> I, I gotta say too before we I gotta say too before we start, man. The the Pompadour, man. I adore yeah. that pump, man. I'm adoring. Thank you very pump. much. Yeah, well, how, long does it take, how long does it take you to do that? Uh, not too long. Maybe five, ten <laughs> hours. <laughs> you know, but some I, no. kids skateboarding beside our bus. They were they were taking jumps off of that thing. <laughs> <I'd be laughs> awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome, dude. Oh, All right. Theory of a Dead Man, Scars and Souvenirs, the third album. Yeah. It's out, and I actually read that uh, you guys wanted this to be the greatest record ever. That's a direct quote I'm reading now. Do you think you succeeded? I was probably high on PCP when I said that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I think every band should probably say that when they uh, when they write their record. We, you know, I think uh, I think for us, you know, uh, you know, as a band, I think we've made the best record yet for sure for us. I, I, I think our fans think it's our best record too. And then the title itself, Scars and Souvenirs, I gotta ask you guys, do you have any rock and roll scars you can show off, you wanna talk about? There's mine. What do you got? Just that's a little scar. Pretty nice. Three, three stitches. Oh, that's hardcore. That's it? You know why it looks like that is because I couldn't put my hand in my pocket for months after, and every time I'd do it, it would just open it right What up happened? Again. What'd you do? Jeez. Just drunk and fun. You know, broke a, we were fighting in somebody's house, and we had French doors, broke a little plane of glass. And then, of course, because we had been drinking, you know, I tried to clean it up, felt bad. And I was a stupid, and I was <laughs> trying to pull a piece of glass out of the bottom of the broken. Sh sure. And it came out, and of course, there was still glass one of those on the top, ones? right? <clears throat> and oh. it just like cut it right, right, like bone. Fantastic. I was looking at it, and I was like, oh, that sucks. Yeah. Let's get another beer before I we got the gnarliest yeah. elbows around. Would you? That was pretty oh, disgusting. I've chipped both of them playing hockey. So, uh, hockey will do that to your elbows, man? Yeah. So I don't play. How about you, Tyler, improper, you uh, I have a lot of uh, rock and roll scars, but unfortunately, they're all in my bathing suit area. <laughs> <I'll show you. laughs> all right, now really quick, the uh, the new single, "Bad Girlfriend." Yeah. Um, <clears throat> any particular reason you wrote that song? Is it about a specific uh, person? It's about. It's uh, actually. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's about my wife. When I first <laughs> met her, uh, she was this party girl. We used to go out all the time in uh, Vancouver. There was this bar called the Roxy, which was kind of a staple. You, I used to go there every night and get, just get hammered and right. party and and uh, I met her there uh, with some friends and uh, would hang out all the time and she was crazy and and after like a while you know I kind of got I started liking her a lot and I didn't want her to go there anymore I didn't want her to get her you know grabbed and pulled and touched and guys always wanted. To you know, do things with her, so uh, <laughs> do, <laughs> things. do dirty things. <laughs> Trying to keep it, you know, you know, those kids watching. As soon as you got the right girl, man, she must be that hot that, that she would be. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I stopped going to the bar. I just, I couldn't do it anymore, so. Uh, yeah, she's a little tamer now. All but, right. Uh, it makes for a great song. All right, well, you know what? Bad Girlfriend is actually making its debut on our countdown this week, number six on the countdown. So here's nice. Theory of a Dead yes. Man, Bad Girlfriend. They're going to be hanging out a little bit longer. Stick around.